I am meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk about mountain weather and ski conditions as we head into the uh, the new year. I see one storm system for New Year's Eve, and then we're probably going to catch a break across parts of the West, except for the Pacific Northwest. But what's really interesting is, and I'll show you this, for next week, we could be looking at a very moist pattern for the west, the west coast, and even in the interior setting up. So we'll look at all that. But first, into the analysis here, we'll jump into the radar and satellite. So we've got a departing storm system out of Colorado right now, leaving some nice powder in its wake. So that's exiting. And then we've got this big break in the action across parts of Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho. That'll be short-lived because there's a low sitting off the Pacific coast right here. That will be moving in and providing that New Year's Eve snow and powder opportunity for the West. So let's roll into the jet stream. This gives us a great idea of what is coming at us, or what the storm track is going to throw at us, and also gives us some more graphic potentials. But here is the departing storm. You can see the dip in the jet right there. And then the next opportunity, there are several lined up actually on the Pacific, but with the dip and the jet. So I'll put this into a future and here we are. I'll stop it. This is New Year's Eve at 5 a.m. And you can see what's happening here. There's a dip in the jet. You can see it right there. And there's essentially a low with a little bit of moisture sliding in to the interior, into Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah. It may dry up for the most part, until it gets, uh, there may be just a little bit left over for northern Colorado, but that might be it. And that's actually going to exit fairly quickly. This is the jet stream on Saturday morning. So this is when we're going to, we're essentially going to catch the break because what's happening is, is the entire pattern is shifting. Look at the powerful jet stream. What's happening is it's going to be shifting to the south. Now watch uh, as I roll through Sunday into Monday. This is a pretty significant change. It's running basically basically west to east into the interior. This is a powerful moist flow setting up for the west coast and right into the interior states as well. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. That is something I'll be watching very carefully as we roll into next week. All right, our future radar. Here we go. We'll go into uh, New Year's morning, uh, New Year's Eve morning right here. So this is Thursday at 5. Notice the snow rolling into the interior through the Tetons down into the Wasatch and then trailing back into the uh, the, the Sierra. Uh, again that's uh, 5 a.m. Here we are. Notice it kind of washes out by the time it gets into Colorado. I think there will be some light snows in Colorado but again it kind of weakens as it rolls into the state of Colorado. And by uh, New Year's morning, so 2021 right here, we're dry on the backside, dry through southern Idaho, although it does look like there's moisture streaming into Schweitzer and Whistler in the, in the Pacific Northwest. But keep in mind, here's Saturday morning. This is as the pattern is going to start to shift a little further south with the jet stream. So all this moisture you see out on the Pacific is going to start to sink to the south as we roll late into the weekend and into next week. So let me get you through the next few days here as far as snow accumulation. So this is by Thursday morning. So again, this is New Year's Eve morning right here. Notice a little bit of uh, new snow there through the Tetons. So you'll be able to ski some new powder on Thursday. And some of that snow, again, dropping down into the Sierra as well. Some big totals up in the Pacific Northwest. But those are going to be going much, much higher as we roll into time. Here's Friday morning. You can see some of that light snow dives down through the Wasatch Front into parts of northern Colorado but not significant. Schweitzer's number continues to go up, and so do the numbers in the Pacific Northwest. All right, by Saturday morning, I mean, we're working on some big totals up in the Pacific Northwest, and really at this point then, it's that pattern shift that will take us into next week. All right, enjoy the, uh, the new powder for New Year's Eve, and uh, I appreciate you always tuning in here, and I'll talk with you again later.